And the third part and final part of how we can prevent you from sabotaging your goals because oftentimes we see it and the only person that's gonna really make us win and lose is gonna be us in the long term. So today I wanna to talk about finding balance, talking about your portion controls, and then last but not least, let's end it on a positive note. I want you to be celebrating your wins. Now, if you're looking for a coach to help you find balance, help you with portion control, keep you on track, and then point out wins, because we often don't celebrate our wins, go to www.fitclub.fit, mention the belly burn, and we'll get you started today. So the first thing we need to do is talk about finding balance. So instead of super strict diets or food rules, let's focus on balance and moderation. We need to start enjoying a variety of foods in appropriate portions. And remember that all foods can fit into a healthy eating pattern. You can fit ice cream into your daily macros. If that's what your coach tells you, you can allow it and you can make it happen and you can still lose weight. So saying no to something isn't necessarily the right way. It might be the way that you need it right now, but if we're looking for long-term success, if we actually wanna have a good, healthy relationship with food, we have to find a way to either make it work within our daily scope, or maybe it is something that we completely remove, but then we need to find a replacement for that that's just as good. The second thing is portion controls. So I need you to pay attention to portion sizes and you absolutely need to practice mindful eating. So what I want you to do is start using smaller plates and make sure that you're using you know, utensils, maybe even use chopsticks, because it can slow you down. But you need to be mindful of serving sizes and make sure that you're reading food labels. So the best thing that you can do is scan the food that you're about to eat, plug it into MyFitnessPal, and just be wowed of how many calories are actually in these things. A lot of us take a spoonful of Nutella and we're like, ah, oh, we're just having a spoonful. It's a little mountain, it's nothing crazy. But the thing about it is that that spoonful could be the driving factor that pushes you over into your calories. So I was talking to one of our coaching clients and he was telling me how he went out for lunch. And so he said he had a chicken salad with, uh, with ranch dressing and then he had a chicken clubhouse wrap. And I'm like, dude, like you're in a cutting phase right now. Like, did you actually track that food? And his response was no. I was like, okay, well, you don't know how they made the food, how, many cal how much calories is in each food, how much oil did they use, what type of dressing was it, et cetera, et cetera. And even when he eyeballed it, it actually put his calories over by 500 calories. And so this alone would be the response as to why we're not losing weight as fast as we should. And so we have to understand that the portion size does matter because there's a lot of sneaky calories in each one of these portions. So I tell you that if you're gonna eat it, you should be tracking it. And the last but not least is probably one of the key ones is that we are one of our own hardest critics. Now for me, I actually like to work with heavy critics on themselves because at least they're putting their best efforts forward, okay? And so when I work with clients that are very hard on themselves, we have to be able to point out small wins that they've had throughout their entire journey. So for instance, a perfect person is trying to get the perfect day, meaning that they've tracked all their food, they've hit their steps, they've drank all their water, they did their workouts, and they also did their extra homework. Now they've had a massively busy day and they weren't able to get as many steps as they were hoping and they weren't able to do as much homework they were able to do, and they weren't able to drink as much water as they planned out to. But then we reflect on the day before where they absolutely crushed it. In fact, they doubled their goal. And a lot of us just focus on the here and now. But a good coach, or if you can do it yourself, will reflect on what is the overall picture. And so if you won the day before, you're like, that's okay, you know, I didn't have a great day, but I had an amazing day yesterday, and tomorrow I'm gonna make sure that I'm looking closely at my calendar to make sure that I'm only stacking wins. So today was just okay, yesterday was amazing, tomorrow's gonna be awesome. So I want you to celebrate your wins all along the way, whether they be massive, like if your goal is to lose 50 pounds and you've lost 25 pounds in, in a matter of three to six months, that's a huge goal, celebrate it. 
or whether it's you've never gotten 10,000 steps before and all of a sudden you're getting 10,000 steps every single day, you celebrate that first time that you get 10,000 steps. Now don't go and celebrate it with something that's gonna push you far away from your goals, but if you control your portions and if you find a balance and if you wanna reward yourself with an ice cream and you put those two other rules in place, then that makes that win oh so sweet. So I'm Coach RJ. I'm here to help you not sabotage your goals. I want to see long-term success for you. So if you're looking to work with myself and my team, then go to www.fitclub.fit, mention the belly burn, and we'll get you started.